This is my dinner from last night, and do you ever get the feeling that, like, you're in a funk and um, you just, you can't start your diet back up again? I'm in this funk where I have so much junk food in the house that I bought for after the swimsuit competition because I was going to eat it, like, all in, like, one giant binge and then get it out of my system, but it's still in my house. And I just can't seem to eat healthy with it in the house. And I feel like I need to eat everything. Um, I feel like I need to eat everything before I can start eating healthy again. And that's just not what I want to do. But this pizza looks really delicious since it's left over from last night. Um, it's cold. I like cold pizza. And it has... Um, red pepper flakes, and uh, grated Parmesan cheese. It's the only way to eat pizza in my book. Um, and I'm probably going to have some pretzel m ms after this. But I, I want to work out tonight. I'm going to work out tonight. I'm being such a lazy bum today. Um, I worked from home, and I got four hours of work in. Um, with an hour break in between for lunch and I think I'm gonna vacuum now I don't know really don't want to vacuum but I kind of have to Urgh. I'm gonna make that pasta orgasm tonight um, I chopped up some peppers and I crushed up or chopped up some garlic um, I'm getting everything ready now so I don't have to do it later um, I'm pretty pissed at the BF right now, so I'm really not thrilled I have to make him dinner. Um, what do I want? I don't want fettuccine. I don't want rigatoni. Do I want rigatoni? No, I don't really want rigatoni. What the hell else pasta do we have? Well, I guess that's it. I guess I have to use this. He got the wrong one. I wanted ziti, but he got rigatoni. Makes me upset. So, yeah. Just a quick little story about why I'm mad at the BF. Um, you know how yesterday I found, I told him to hide my M&Ms, and it was just like all for joke, like, it was just a joke, like, um, so I didn't eat them, you know. I told him to hide them. Well, I guess this morning he thought it'd be funny to hide them on me. And I was eating, um, lunch, and I was like, oh, you know, I've been working for four, or I've been working for an hour already, like, I'm doing well. I'm, you know gonna have some lunch or whatever and then I want to reward myself and I want some pretzel M&Ms. Well, um, what am I doing? I want to show you this. Well, he hid them on me and I couldn't find them. They were right there and then I went into his dresser where he normally hides them and they weren't there. So I was literally searching everywhere, this entire kitchen. I searched down there. I searched in here. And when I looked in there, this is what I found. He left me blue balls. That's what he left me. And I still have no idea where my pretzel M&Ms are. And if he took them to work, I'm going to be super pissed. If they're somewhere in this house, I'm going to be equally as pissed. When, and I don't even care that it's just chocolate. Like, I know that I'm craving chocolate right now, and I'm a super bitch. But if it were anything else, like if it were my favorite pair of shoes and he, and he hid them, I'd be mad. I don't care that it's food. He hid, he hid my food, and I wanted it. So I was freaking out, trying to find it everywhere. And I got mad at him, and I texted him, where did you hide my candy? He goes, you're seriously getting pissed off about candy. And I said, yes, I am seriously getting pissed off about candy. I was so upset, and I am so angry with him right now. You have no idea. So I finished work, and I vacuumed the house. Um, I 
kind of cleaned off the countertops in the kitchen and I prepped for dinner which I'm not really happy that I have to make for him I'm really not um, and I played a game of word feud and words of friends I have both um what else I don't really know what else I'm so bored um I wanted to work out but then I decided I didn't want to get all gross and sweaty and I kind of want to wait till after dinner to go jogging um yeah I think tomorrow I'm going to do some spring cleaning and put um put everything like that I don't need or don't want anymore in boxes and bring it to the Salvation Army I think that's what I'm going to do tomorrow um, after I get a few things done for work. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm watching The Voice and I'm drinking some coffee and I'm um, watching YouTube. And, um, yeah, that's the consistency of my night. Um, I have my pink headphones in. They're, um, I think, ear candy or something. But the iPod ones hurt my ears, so I can't wear those. I have to wear, like, the earbud. Like, this little piece is, um, is, like, foamy and squishy, and it fits in my ear, and I like those. Oh, I had somebody message me and ask me what this thing is right here. And, um, ooh, sitting on my, on my headphones. Somebody asked me what this is, and it's a massager, um, and it's supposed to, like, be so that you can massage your own, like, shoulders and whatnot, but, like, I got it at, um, what's it called, Brookstones, and it's a piece. I don't know, like, I wanted to get those wooden ones because, um, like, when I work out, I ask my boyfriend to give me a massage, and, um, like, he'd massage, but his fingers would get, like, um, tired or whatever. And then he would ask for a massage in return, and I would never want to give him one. <laughs> I always like getting massages. I don't like, um, giving them. I like getting them. I don't like giving them. Um, but we figured that if we got this, we could, like, do our own shoulders, you know, or whatever. Or, um, like, our fingers wouldn't get, like, tired or whatever. So what you do is like you push it down. Do you hear that? You push it down and it vibrates. So like you get like deep um, like muscle whatever. But it's stupid because then it makes your entire hand tired instead of just your fingers. Because you like really have to push it down. And like it's easy to do on yourself because you know like what pressure you need to apply. But when you're doing it to somebody else like the first time Pat was like massaging my shoulders with it. He like went on my bone and it really hurt my shoulders but it's really nice um, to do on yourself like I don't know if you can see that it feels quite nice when I'm doing it like on my own shoulder but um yeah somebody asked me what that was because it kind of looks like a little space alien aircraft just sitting over there so that's what that is it's a massager that I got at Brookstones I wouldn't recommend it though because I don't know if you're gonna use it with somebody else like to massage somebody else I don't know it's just crappy just use your hands <laughs> um it was twenty dollars and we got it like a couple months ago and it's just been sitting there we used it like a couple times sometimes I use it though like mm, what was it oh the voice is back on um, I went jogging at the gym and I ran four miles and my calves were killing me after and like I couldn't I don't know like just massaging it like this it wasn't working so I used that and it worked okay oh I wanted to see this one he um, sings a CeeLo song so it's kind of funny that he would sing you know a lot of people a lot of girls have been singing Miranda Lambert um, which I also think is kind of funny. Let's watch it for a little bit. I want to see this one. I don't know. I don't like American Idol, 
but this one some for some reason I find kind of entertaining and I've been watching it now for like however long it's been on like a half an hour an hour yeah an hour of course I've been watching my YouTube too but I've also been watching this um, I've been watching YouTube on the commercials and making videos obviously during commercials Carson Daly where have you been you just disappear and then you show up on the voice would you like to watch this with me Why should I pick you over Sila? Why? So right now I'm being a lazy bum and I'm shopping for messenger bags slash handbags slash tote bags I guess you can call them um, on Zappos and um, I don't really know I'm very picky about my bags and I don't really know where I can go to get a bag or where to look for kind of like a cheap or affordable um, bag. And I want one that's going to, like, I need a large bag because right now my bag is pretty large. So I want to be able to fit everything I have in my current bag in my new bag. Um, this, see, this is kind of like my style. Um, let's, let's go to the bigger picture here. They have different colors. I like brown. I like black. I don't like that. I like that one. But it kind of looks canvas, and I would get that dirty. And it's very tiny. That's not, that's not going to work. Um, let's try and find another one. I like the lived-in kind of look. Like, um... I don't know, like very casual, big Buddha. That kind of sounds like my style. And I like that green color too. Um, olive. See, that is what I'm looking for. That's nice and big. Um, I actually really like that one. See, that's what I'm looking for. Hmm. We'll see. If you have any ideas um, on where I can go, because I don't, I don't really like shopping online. I like to go to the store and um, and look at it and try it on and look at myself in the mirror with it. Um, if I absolutely have to buy something online, I will. But I would much rather prefer going to a store. So if you know any place. Um, in the central Florida area where I can go and get a tote bag, let me know.